Hello friends, I'm Jasu Bakuhatsu, and this is Let's Play Mega Man 4. Now, Mega Man 4 is a game that I am very, very well acquainted with, so to make things interesting for myself, I'm going to be playing with a couple restrictions in place. Number one, I will not be using any special weapons, and number two, I will not be making use of the charge shot. Mega Man 4, as many of you know, is the game that introduced the somewhat controversial uh, charged Mega Buster to the series, and we're not going to be making use of that. We're going to be going through in the good old classic Mega Man 2 and 3 style, and we're going to be starting things off in Dive Man stage here. Dive Man is the robot master I usually start with when I play through the game normally because I think the weapon he gives you is really useful. Here I'm doing him first just mainly out of habit since of course I won't be using his weapon once we get it. This is also one of the easier stages in the game and you can pretty much just run right through it and very easily jump over anything that happens to get in your way. I guess the mid-boss here can be a bit tough if you're going for a no-damage run. Uh, those homing missiles do take very precise timing to dodge consistently, but you only have to avoid a couple of them as long as you have a very good rapid-fire thumb. The rapid-fire thumb, of course, will be your most valuable tool in this kind of challenge, especially against those mid-bosses with no invincibility frames. And here we have the first appearance of Eddie, or Fliptop as he is known sometimes, and his job is to show up in the middle of the stage and drop an item of dubious usefulness for us. Believe it or not, this out-of-water segment marks the halfway point for this stage, which is by far the shortest in the game, in addition to being one of the easiest. The water level starts rising and falling beyond this point, which makes things a bit trickier in that you sometimes have to wait for the water to rise before jumping over things. Which can be difficult if you're a total spaz or something, I guess. Like I am. Round 2 against Duff McWhalen's retarded cousin is exactly the same as the first. Engage rapid fire thumb, dead in 3 seconds. Let's move on. Down that hole is the wire item. Challenge says I can't use it, so I'm not gonna get it. This final stretch with the floating spike platforms and the bombs can actually be a bit challenging. And there's actually some bullshit here where if you try to jump over that last bomb, you'll end up colliding with the spikes on the next screen. This is arguably one of the worst bullshit moments in the entire series, but it's never bothered me since I've always been more inclined to slide under the bombs in the first place. You may have noticed that the game hasn't been any different so far under the stipulations of this challenge. Challenge, and that's going to carry forward into the boss as well. Dive Man becomes a bit easier if you don't worry too much about charging up your buster since you really want to be rapid firing him in order to take care of the missiles that he shoots at you, and more importantly you'll want to stay grounded as much as possible during this fight. If you're up in the air a lot it becomes very easy to get caught by one of his homing missiles from underneath where you can't shoot them, and also to get caught by his charge as you're landing. So when he charges at you you want to slide away or if you're corner, do a short hop over him, and if he starts firing missiles, then you want to start rapid firing him. That's the surefire way to beat this guy, and apparently beat him without taking any damage. And in fact, if it weren't for that one pesky stingray, that would have been a no damage run of the entire stage. Uh, just like I said, one of the easiest in the game. Ah oh, well, I'm sure things will pick up eventually. And speaking of pickups, from Dive Man we get the Dive Missile, which is your standard homing missile type weapon. It's pretty good, I think, but we want to keep things challenging for ourselves, so we won't be using it on this playthrough. And that's all for Dive Man. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.